First off, massive thank you for 500,000 subscribers. Uh, Modern Warfare has done insane things for the channel, and honestly, I can't express how thankful I am for what you guys have done for me and the channel. But also, in celebration of hitting half a million, my friends over at G Fuel bumped code IMMORTAL back up to 30% off until next Tuesday. So if you want to grab anything there, be it a new tub, shaker, or starter pack, now is a great time to do so. Anyways, on to today's video. Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. As we know, the 1.23 update changed the way a lot of weapons work with the various buffs and nerfs it added into the game. And even though some weapons remained pretty good despite getting some nerfs, some other weapons became significantly better. So today we're going over the new best weapon in every category and the best setups for those weapons. So if you enjoy the video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, we are always covering the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, and everything in between. So feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on to stay up to date with all of that. Now, starting off with the pistols, honestly, I would never go out of my way to use a pistol on a loadout. I, uh, I think the pros of overkill are so much better than anything a pistol can offer. However, that said, the M19 is surprisingly good in Warzone ever since the Renettis and the Snake Shots got nerfed. So here I'm rocking the monolithic suppressor. Uh, as always, we're going to be seeing a lot of this today. It is of course a must have here in Warzone. Then we've got the super barrel for better range, the lightweight trigger to spam it faster, the 32 round mags because the more the merrier here, and finally the classic stipple grip tape for some better mobility. And like I said, the M19 is surprisingly good. So if you ever find yourself wanting to use a pistol, this is the one that I would recommend. Then getting into the primaries, obviously these are the setups you'll be seeing a lot more action with. Uh, pretty much all of my setups consist of an assault rifle and an SMG, or a sniper and an AR, or an LMG and an SMG. I would say the vast majority of the time, you're probably mixing and matching these categories for your loadout. So when it comes to the snipers, the champ here is definitely still the HDR in my opinion. Uh, it's pretty much been this way all year long so far. And while the AX50 is still pretty good, when it comes down to being a better sniper, the HDR is just that because it has better bullet velocity, meaning its bullet drop is not going to be nearly as harsh and thus it's going to be a whole lot easier to use in those longer distance engagements. So here I'm rocking the pretty standard setup of the monolithic suppressor, the pro barrel, the tack laser for better stability and ADS speed, the variable zoom scope for better visibility at a range, and also the stalker scout stock for a better ADS speed as well. And as mentioned, I usually pair this with an assault rifle or an SMG for some better balance in those close and medium range fights. Also, as far as my perks and equipment go, this is of course the same on all of my classes, but I do use EOD, Overkill, and Amped at first, and then I switch to a second loadout later on into the game that has EOD, Ghost, and Amped, and as always, I am using the C4 and the Heartbeat sensor for my equipment. So pretty standard stuff there. Now moving on into the Marksman Rifles, the 1.23 update actually changed a lot here, particularly when it comes to the Car 98 k which I think is easily the new best weapon here. And it just so happens this is also my favorite weapon to use in Warzone right now because it is just so satisfying to run around aggressively sniping and just downing enemy after enemy after enemy. Now, don't get me wrong, the HDR is absolutely the better sniper. Uh, it's got better range and overall damage, but man, the car's speed and the one-shot headshots just make it a ton of fun to use. And trust me, try it out, you know, get used to how it plays and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. Anyways, for the setup here, I've got the monolithic suppressor, the 27.6 inch barrel, the tack laser, the variable zoom scope, and finally the sport stock which, all together, allows the car's range to be increased, but its speed is also really good at the same time. So honestly, this is perfect for aggressive sniping. Then getting into the LMGs, I feel like a lot of people may overlook them just because LMGs are usually heavy and slow and not so great for rotations, right? But honestly, quite a few of them are really, really good here in Warzone. Personally though, I think the Bruin is leaps and bounds above the rest. This thing is easily one of the best weapons in the entire game. I would honestly argue maybe even top 5 in all reality. It's, uh, it's got very little recoil, it can be very mobile, its damage is great. All around, the Bruin is a very, very solid weapon to use. Now, obviously, the unlock challenge for it is kind of a pain. The smoke kills definitely are not a ton of fun to do, 
Personally, I would recommend pretty much exclusively playing shipment for it and just spamming smoke after smoke after smoke. But once you do unlock it and you level it up, you'll see exactly why people are now starting to talk about it a whole lot more. So on the Bruin, my setup consists of the monolithic suppressor, I know, crazy idea, the horizon barrel. From my understanding, this and the summit barrel are nearly identical, but this one offers less of a speed decrease, so that's why I use that. Then I've got the commando foregrip to help stabilize the very minimal recoil the Bruin has. These 60 round mags, which seriously increase the overall mobility of the weapon. This is a massively impactful attachment on this setup. And finally, I've got the VOK 3x optic, since it provides more recoil stabilization and gives some better visibility at a longer range. Now, next up, we've got the shotguns. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, outside of like the secondaries, shotguns are easily my least used class in Warzone. Personally, I just don't think they're super viable or even beneficial to run. You are extremely limited to CQC fights, and with weapons like the MP5 and the Vector and the MP7, which can all melt you up close, shotguns can even get outclassed in the only area they're meant to be used. But that said, if you are wanting to use a shotgun in Warzone, I think the best option is currently the Model 680. I would say the Origin 12 is definitely a close second since you can just spam it, but I think the added range and the power that the Model 680 offers really carries it to being the best shotgun in the game. However, the attachment setup for it that I think makes it the best is uh, a little toxic to say the least. Here I've got the muzzle choke for more range, the sport barrel for more of the same, the 5 milliwatt laser, the dragon's breath rounds since these can help down enemies even after you hit them initially, and finally the no stock attachment for better mobility. So like I said, kind of toxic, but when it comes to the shotguns, I believe this is the best option we've got. Then we get into the two most popular categories in the game, the SMGs and the assault rifles. And here we've got probably two of the best weapons in the entire game all around. So in the SMG category, the king here is definitely still the MP5. Yes, it did get nerfed with the 1.23 update. Yes, that nerf is slightly noticeable. No, it did not make the weapon drastically worse. You know, this thing is still insanely good up close. Its recoil is super easy to learn and control. All around, you just can't go wrong with the MP5. So here, I'm currently running the monolithic integral suppressor because this does actually offer more range than the regular monolithic suppressor, the Merc foregrip for its bugged speed boost and control benefits, the 45 round mags, the stippy grippy, and also sleight of hand so I can play a little more aggressive with it overall. And honestly, the mobility on this setup and the range and even the control are all still incredibly good even after the nerf. Then we've got the assault rifles. And honestly, I think we saw a major change with the 1.23 update in this category as the King may no longer be the Grau 556. And instead, I believe it's now the FAL. You know, this thing got an increase to its close range damage and with stopping power, it can even one tap to the head pending the enemy's armor supply. And basically, this is an all-in-one kind of weapon. And by that I mean it can compete up close even against SMGs in some cases. It is fantastic in medium range fights, and it's also great in long range engagements too. Now, obviously, the skill gap here is a bit higher than on the Growl, let's say, since this is a semi-automatic weapon. But after you get that trigger finger warmed up, the FAL is insanely good. So here I've got the monolithic suppressor for one last time today the Marksman Barrel, the Merc Foregrip for the same reasons as before, the 30 round mags because that's the largest option we've got, and finally, the VOK 3x Optic yet again. And I'm just gonna say it, I think this very well may be the best weapon in the entire game at the current moment. So with all of that being said, those are effectively the best weapons in every category here in Warzone and the best setups for those weapons. And that is going to wrap things up for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, or if you just found it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here, and you want to stay up to date with the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, leaks, and pretty much everything else in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on, that way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. As I mentioned in the intro, right now until Tuesday, my G Fuel discount code IMMORTAL will get you 30% off your entire order. So if you want to grab a new tub, shaker cup, or starter pack, now is the best time to do so. Also, as I was recording this, it was just announced that Twitch drops are now active again for Season 4, so if you guys want to earn some exclusive free items in-game, you can do so just by watching streams over on Twitch, including mine, which will be linked down in the description below. 
But once again, thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch